In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at converting and working with files and specifically renaming and recataloging the files that we convert. So here I am in Music Reader. What I need to do if I'm going to convert files, so specifically a PDF file, into the Music Reader format is to go into Music Reader's sister program, Music Convert. When you install uh, Music Reader, it comes bundled with Music Convert. So let's go over here uh, in the menu, click on More, and then you can click on Edit to go directly to Music Convert. Let's go ahead and say yes to that. Now within Music Convert, we're going to be able to import and convert PDF files, work with scanned images, so on and so forth. I already went ahead and downloaded a Mozart Sonata for Violin and Piano as a PDF from the popular classical music public domain website imslp.org, the International Music Library Score, excuse me, International Music Score Library website. Uh, one of the best websites on the web for classical music. So let's go ahead and click on New to create a new document. It's going to ask you which source we're going to use a file since that's what I downloaded. I'm going to go over to where I downloaded it. It's in the download folder over here. And here it is, right on top. And as you can see, it's got a weird name. IMSLP, a code number, and so on and so forth. It's not the friendliest name to be finding such a piece in your library. So as soon as this finishes converting, I'm going to come right back and I'm going to show you how we can rename this file to something that's easier to find and easier to catalog within your own digital sheet music library. Okay, now we're back. We just finished converting a PDF file that I downloaded from IMSLP and let's take a look at the information over here by clicking on this I icon. And as you can see, the default title is kind of the name of the file itself, which doesn't really help us find this piece. It's not a very helpful thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm, it's already selected. I'm going to go ahead and delete that title. And I'm going to start typing in my own. Now, just for my own personal conventions, uh, I will write down the, the name of the composer, Mozart, Sonata in G major. For, I'm going to actually put this on K301 for violin and piano. That's just my personal preference. I put the composer, title, catalog number, and what it's what instrumentation. Of course, if you're uh, if it's easier for you just to name the straight title of the song, you can go right ahead and do that. For me, as a classical pianist, it also helps to have the other catalog fields. So if I want to look for all the pieces by Mozart, I can do so. If I want to look for sonatas, if I want to look for sp things specifically just for violin, I can do that if I start adding in these additional catalog fields. So let's go ahead and do that. So for this composer, we have uh, Mozart's father over here. And it's, as you can see, for a lot of classical and jazz pieces, you're going to have the composer's names already start to be filled in for you. Let's go ahead and make sure we select the right composer, Wolfgang Amadeus. No ranger here, no lyricist, but again, those are fields that you can also fill in yourself. This is just a general description text. I don't really use that. Um, genre, I'm going to write down sonata. That's the type of piece it is. And here I'm going to write down violin. And because it's for two instruments, I'm going to add one more instrument by clicking on this plus, And it gives me another field. And I can add piano, as you can see there. Okay, And then you can add any other bits of information that you feel relevant to whatever you need to be able to find and catalog this piece to your liking. When I'm finished with that, I'm going to click on Save, and it'll save it in the default file sheet music within your Documents folder. Go ahead and click on Save there, and after a short while, it'll have that all saved. And what we can do is we can open the program back again in Music Reader. I'll show you how it appears in your library. So let's go back to More. Again, this is Music Convert we're in right now. Let's go back to the Reader portion, click on that, switch back to Music Reader. I'm going to choose a half page view to make it easier to show on the screen what we're looking at. And here you go. We've op just opened up the file we just created. And we'll take a look at the library. And this shows all the pieces. Right now I only have one piece in this particular computer. But there you go. Here's Mozart's. And that you can see the full title over here, what I typed into the title screen. This is the composer column, the instrumentation column. And you can start to see all the different types of works, violin, as I have add more works, that'll start to catalog the works for me. But there you go. That's an easy and quick way to be able to rename your 
And if I wanted to go back and rename this for some reason, go back to more, go back to music convert, and then the music converter can again, again switch back to your option to rename if I wanted to do it a different manner or change the composer's name, I go back to music convert and then start clicking on the I icon at the top menu bar over here, starts changing that information. Okay? You can do all sorts of things within Music Convert. You can change the page order if you have repeats. You can uh, remove pages, add pages, so on and so forth. This is really kind of the builder program for Music Reader. If you have any questions about other things that you can do in Music Convert and Music Reader, be sure to take a look at some of our other video tutorials on our site.